Hi guys, welcome back to, A Tech Media. Today, I'm going to show you, how to install the new update of, Mac OS, Monterey. Before further details, let's see what the new features are. Those who haven't subscribed to my channel till now, please subscribe. You'll get notifications of my new video uploads, if you press the bell icon. Now let's watch the video. Well, that brings us to the latest exploits of our crack marketing team. With their annual vision quest postponed, our merry band of nomadic neighbors wandered aimlessly through the California hills before donning their technicolored wetsuits and immersing themselves in the inspiration of the beautiful rich waters of Monterey. Mac OS Monterey gives you the power to accomplish more than ever and helps you work fluidly across all of your devices. Like the new capabilities in FaceTime, which help you look and sound your best while talking to coworkers or friends. With SharePlay, it's just plain awesome to watch movies and shows together on your stunning Mac display, or share an app window as you collaborate on a project. Shared with you offers a totally new way to discover photos, articles, and more that people share with you over messages right in your Mac apps. And when you're working hard on Mac, you can choose a focus that syncs across all your devices, helping reduce distracting notifications so you can get the job done. Plus, Quick Note and Notes give you versatile new ways to capture and organize your thoughts. With universal control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad. I'm gonna simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, Boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. I can click and close this document and flick on my trackpad to return to my iPad home screen. Of course, I can swipe between my pages of apps and I can use my MacBook's keyboard to open Spotlight and say, launch notes and even use Command Tab to switch back to Procreate. I'm just gonna take this drawing I finished on my iPad and drop it on the keynote on my Mac. Awesome. Now I can use the trackpad on my MacBook to control my iMac as well. I can also switch to use my iMac's keyboard and mouse. And this is so cool. Watch this. Now I have a title text image I've been working on here in Procreate on my iPad. Now I'm gonna take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut. Just like that, we're introducing AirPlay to Mac. It works just like AirPlay today, so it's instantly familiar. You can play, present, and share just about anything. As you draw a sketch on iPad, your colleagues can follow along on the bigger display. And you can even take advantage of any Mac's high fidelity sound by using it as an AirPlay speaker. This year, we're bringing shortcuts to the Mac. And now you can automate the everyday stuff to achieve peak productivity. You get access to a rich gallery of pre-built shortcuts designed just for Mac. You can set up a shortcut to instantly share selected files with your friends so they never miss a moment. And with the shortcuts editor, you can easily link together a series of actions to design shortcuts for your specific workflows. For instance, if you're a designer, get right to work with a shortcut that opens Pinterest in one window, Affinity Photo in another, and start your favorite playlist in Apple Music all in one click. We've weaved shortcuts throughout macOS so you can run them no matter what app is open. They're in Finder, Menu Bar, Spotlight, and of course you can ask Siri to run them hands-free. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered, so we've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight, and there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. They allow you to easily save and manage your tabs without cluttering up your tab bar. Open the new redesign sidebar, and I have a few tab groups here already. Each of these groups is a whole set of tabs. I use them for meal planning, for news, and for gift shopping. I'll click the new tab group button and call this Trip to LA. I'm gonna open a bunch of tabs and my iMac just keeps up. And if I change my current tab, my tab group is always up to date and I never miss a thing. I can't wait to share these trip ideas with my family. 
and I can just drag this tab group into an email and send it off. When we were designing the new tab experience, we wanted to build something that worked consistently when you switch from your Mac to your iPhone or iPad. On iPad, the new tabs and tab bar work just like they do on Mac. Tab groups are especially helpful on iPad, and the instant syncing means you can continue a project from anywhere. On iPhone, we've done something really special. We took all the thinking that went into Mac and iPad and pushed the envelope even further. For this smaller screen size, we're introducing something that's easier to reach and maximizes the page on screen. The new tab bar appears with just a tap, and it's directly under your thumb. And when you scroll, the bar moves seamlessly out of the way. It's now easier and more natural to access your other tabs, too. You can just swipe over the tab bar to move quickly between them, or swipe up the tab bar to reveal a brand new grid view of all your tabs, plus your tab groups. When you get to the end of your tabs, you can swipe again to open a new one. And the new customizable start page syncs with Mac so you have the same Safari experience everywhere. There's one last feature that we're really excited to share. Extensions. Mac users love to deeply customize Safari with extensions like Grammarly, Honey, and Momentum. And now we're bringing web extensions to iPhone and iPad. Just like on Mac, you choose what websites you want extensions to be active on, and developers can easily tap into an entirely new audience because these extensions can share code with existing Safari web extensions. And with that, we have macOS Monterey. It's a fantastic release with great new features that help Mac users do more than ever. You can work across Mac and your other devices using universal control and AirPlay to Mac, it's easy to get productive and creative using shortcuts and the totally new design for Safari, along with incredible features like SharePlay, Shared With You, Focus, and Quick Note. We do have more we'd like to talk about, but first, let's get out of here. <laughs> Probably should have just taken the car.